Are we in for a bullish or bearish July with these key factors affecting Bitcoin? And this one altcoin may continue to defy Bitcoin and continue rallying to massive heights. This is your Altcoin Buzz News. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody. And if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcoinBuzzIO, and as always, it's not financial advice. We wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. Today's YouTube news is sponsored by Sui. You may not have noticed lately, but Sui is fast becoming a home for some terrific airdrops. Deep Book, Sui's premier gateway for liquidity, has already had one airdrop, and a second one is coming soon. Other Sui ecosystem projects are airdropping soon as well. And the easiest way to get them is buying Sui and holding in the Sui wallet. There's a new mobile version available, so try the Sui wallet out today with the link down below. As Bitcoin looks to recover from the July loss, New challenges loom, with on-chain data suggesting a potential resistance at $65,000. A leading cryptocurrency by market cap traded nearly 1% higher at $62,600 at the time of writing. As Bitcoin faces selling pressure after this weekend's rally, three things could spoil a potential bullish July for Bitcoin. First, Mt. Gox is set to repay 140,000 Bitcoin, worth $9 billion to creditors, in early July, and this flood of Bitcoin could trigger a sell-off, potentially tanking prices. JP Morgan analysts point out Gemini creditors' recent sell-off of $2.18 billion in Bitcoin after the May 29th announcement back fears of potential Mt. Gox-related price drops. Then, on-chain indicators are flashing red, key metrics suggesting investors might be getting ready to cash out. Bitcoin's adjusted spent output profit ratio, which assesses the overall profit and loss of Bitcoin transactions, recently hit 1.03. A reading above 1 indicates more investors are selling at a profit and has coincided with market top formations in the past. And the third thing is on-chain data for short-term holders. Notably, the decline has pushed prices well below the widely tracked aggregated cost basis of short-term Bitcoin holders or wallets storing costs for 155 days or less. At the time of writing, the aggregated cost basis for short-term holders was $65,000. On-chain analytics firm consider realized price as the aggregated cost basis, reflecting the average price at which coins were last spent on-chain. In other words, short-term holders now face losses or hold positions in the red and could attempt to exit the market at a loss or even break even, potentially adding to selling pressure near $65,000. According to analysts, the Ether ETFs will begin trading after the July 4th holiday this week. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission is expected to approve spot Ethereum ETFs with major players like BlackRock and Grayscale awaiting the final green light. Initially anticipated to launch before July 4th, the approval of 10 spot Ethereum ETFs has been delayed. The SEC has returned S1 forms to issuers, requiring revisions to be resubmitted by July 8th due to holidays. This delay from the initial July 2nd date means that the ETFs could potentially launch in mid to late July. At least one more round of revisions is expected before the ETFs can start trading. ETF store president Nate Garassi has stated that the S1 revisions are relatively minor while suggesting that regulators can approve issuers for trading within the next 14 to 21 days. While the timeline of the launch still remains uncertain, the SEC has hinted at the possibility by the summer's end. This could probably keep the ETH price moving forward amid the investor excitement. Nate Garassi has also made the prediction that the spot Ethereum ETF with the second most successful debut in ETF history, only after spot Bitcoin ETFs. On-chain data provider Spot on Chain has reported that a significant whale has withdrawn 60,000 ETH valued at over $203 million from crypto exchange Bitfinex. This was at a price of $3,387 in the past 24 hours, and the ETH price has already rallied 4% since then, giving the whale an unrealized profit of nearly $6.5 million. At the time of writing, Ethereum is trading just over 4% up, at $3,459. And amid the strong excitement around the spot ETH ETF, whales have been swapping other altcoins for ETH recently. Last week, a Pepe whale converted $18 million of their Pepe coins to Ethereum, expecting a major rally going ahead. Commonwealth has just announced a massive update. Commonwealth is a project that provides early stage VC access for the 99%, fully decentralized, fully on chain, the way it was meant to be. They shared on X, dynamic NFT technology pioneering Web3 with industry-first dynamic NFTs. The upcoming NFT marketplace, first iterations in progress, set to be a major revenue generator for the economy, as well as a pioneer in the Web3 space. The Wealth Fund launch, almost ready, top stakers will have the power to vote on community investments, boosting both economy and revenue, no oracles needed, it's all in your hands. Commonwealth is, and has always been, community-powered. They've also just announced an Alpha Fund project, saying introducing the third epic project of the sold-out Alpha Fund. Blue Whale AI is a project that helps individuals turn their digital footprint into their most profitable asset and increases the lifetime value of their online presence. 
Commonwealth is proud to partner with a protocol that will undoubtedly be a titan in the Web3 industry. Check out Commonwealth with the links down below. Tan is in the spotlight with the coin facing intense embrace from Market Whales. On chain metrics from Tantiment hinted that whales have bought more than 45 million Tan coin over the past week. This 45 million Tan is currently worth around $346 million. Recently, the protocol hit $700 million in total value locked a milestone that suggests that the coin might regain the $8.24 all-time high. Tan coin has remained an outlier in the market, outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum in the past month. While Bitcoin was down by more than 9% in the same time span, Tan has jumped by more than 16%. Tan coin is also thriving with respect to the projects launching on its mainnet. The digital currency ecosystem, with its links to the Telegram social messaging platform, has set the project on a different pedestal. Over the past few months, Toncoin has seen an embrace of projects like Knotcoin and Hamster Combat. These projects were branded as play-to-earn games, with massive embrace and a spillover push from Telegram's audience. With more innovative projects going live and the demand on Ton growing, chances are Toncoin will see more growth. Should Ton beat its previous all-time high, there might be a speedy rally towards the $10 price range in the long term. X-Rays has just finished a successful IDO and is getting ready for their token launch this week. They shared on X, we're happy to announce the Rays token listing date, a utility token powering the X-Rays ecosystem, launching on July 3rd on SyncSwap. For those who may not know, X-Rays is a smart contract wallet designed for Web3 gaming. They tackle the problem of managing your digital assets as a gamer or crypto user. They're making crypto payment procedures super easy. X-Rays uses a feature known as account abstraction. We've talked about it a couple times, but account abstraction is like customizing a smart contract account to make it easier to do things on the blockchain. Some of the account abstraction features it supports include transaction batching, session keys, paymasters, social recovery, and subscriptions. Gamers especially will find this really useful as they can easily create wallets and sign in directly from a game website in less than 10 seconds. Check out X-Rays and the new token with a link down below. Coinbase Layer 2 Scaling Protocol Base Network has outperformed some of its leading competitors like Arbitrum. According to on-chain analyst Leon Wademan, Base has officially secured the position of the most used Ethereum Layer 2. For the longest time, Arbitrum held this position, but the Coinbase chain recently stripped of the tag. Within the last 30 days, transactions processed on Base have surged by more than 60%. The increase in Base's monthly active addresses between April and May was less than 18,000, a blip compared to the more than 2.2 million addresses jump from May to June. The record high in Base's monthly active addresses coincides with on-chain summer, an annual campaign that started in June and acts as a decentralized movement for the entire ecosystem to usher in the next wave of on-chain users. On-chain summer has contributed to the growth in Base's active addresses, in part because it acts as an incentive program for those building on the network. Base and partners of Coinbase are offering over 600 ETH or $2 million in prizes, grants, and gas credits to eligible participants. Base's all-time high in monthly addresses also comes in the same month Coinbase rolled out its smart wallets. Coinbase's smart wallets enable users to create a wallet address in a few seconds without the need to download additional applications or browser extensions. However, on-chain summer ends on August 30th and remains to be seen whether Base can sustain its current level of network activity once the campaign is over.